Alright, so, I had just gotten home from watching the brand new horror film starring Nicolas Cage and Michael Monroe called Long Legs. And I have a lot of things to say about it, because that was probably one of the most surprisingly good and also insane movies I've watched in a very long time. So let's get into it. So Long Legs is the brand new horror film from Osgood Perkins, son of Anthony Perkins, aka Norman Bates, star of Psycho. And I've been excited for this film since the first trailer dropped, which showed not a lot of the film, surprisingly. A lot of the trailers did have same similar clips, a load of the same kind of clips and everything. And I was not really expecting a film as good as this, though... Critics said it was really good. I wasn't really expecting to enjoy it as a regular movie-going audience person because I am very critical of things, but I'm not critic level yet, you know. <laughs> um, and this was really good. But starting off with like a lot of the positives, and I'll get into a few of the negatives that I did have for it. There are very little, but beginning with the positives. So the film looks amazing. Every single frame of the film feels like a retro detective slash, like, horror, thriller mix. Like, it's very Science of the Lambs-esque, very Seven-esque, and that's what I really do enjoy about it. It feels like a throwback. And it's, it's stylized in a very specific way, where you feel like you've just been shoved back to the 90s with every little bit of the film. Like, the dialogue feels very, like old in a way but also very modern and i i think that mainly my few issues with it were that i could kind of see the twist coming but then there was another twist which instantly got me and i was like oh my god no way and the film is just probably one of the best of the year and nick cage gives the performance of a lifetime as he does in every movie, even if it's a bad movie, he'll give 110% as the film's titular murderer, Long Legs. And I feel his character was both really creepy. At the same time, there was a bit of humour in there for, like, me to laugh at. And Micah Monroe delivers a bloody brilliant performance as the lead detective, Lee Harper, who, along the way, um, figures out a few connections with herself and the killer, that's not a spoiler because it is in the plot description of the movie. And, I mean, I was really surprised with the way that they went with it. And I was also really surprised in the way that they've, like, promote pro The way that they promoted the movie. Because the way that they promoted it was very different than the actual film. The promotion kind of showed it as this kind of, like, culty, like, movie... With, like, a load of, like, demonic aspects. Which, it does have a few of those demonic aspects. But, there's not really any cult stuff in there. The film is much more about the lead detective. And her slowly trying to figure out this long web of interconnected different murders. And everything coming together into one shocking conclusion. And every single time that, like... It does one of those things. It is perfectly done. I think, as I said earlier, this is probably my favourite film of the year so far. Like, I'm not sure how they're able to do it every time with Nicolas Cage, but somehow he always does a great job. And he isn't even the main focus of the movie, but in the scenes that he is in, like, he's just a massive highlight. And the other actors as well, they deliver absolutely amazing performances. There is a character who is, like, tied to like the um middle center of the movie and then we don't really see her afterwards but she is tied to the middle center of the movie and her actress delivers a amazing performance and overall this is probably just one of my favorite films like in like a very long time it's definitely brought us back to like a time where you can just go and watch a movie you don't need to like care who's in it you don't need to know anything about it and you will like it because I think this isn't a hit or miss movie. It isn't like in a violent nature where the characters are so painfully Gen Z and they just feel 
horribly stereotypical. In this, all the characters feel like they fit to the storyline, and that's really all they should do. In this, they feel perfectly natural, and they deliver perfect performances to make you really invested in their storylines. And there is a good amount of character development and a load of, like, unravelling in the movie, which, I mean, there's also a load of questions which it does leave you asking, but it does ultimately end on a conclusion which I feel a lot of people will enjoy. There may be the minority out there that won't enjoy it, like one of the person that my cinema didn't enjoy the ending. I heard him moaning about it afterwards. But, um, it's, it's just great. <laughs> like, I, I'm not sure how they were able to perfectly, like, replicate the same feeling that you get from films like Science of the Lambs and Seven. But they were. And it's really cool, because... It does feel like those retro, like, mystery detective FBI movies. But more modern and way more creative as well. Like, not to bash those movies, but I, I'd put this right up there with them. It's probably as good as some of those. And the performances are great, as I said earlier. But into some of the negatives, um, I feel I was a bit misled. Um, a lot of early reviews for this said that it is just like a basic horror movie. Um, and then other reviews said like um, it has like no like loud noises which ultimately lead you to a jump scare. I'm not sure if there were different versions but in my, in, in my cinema every jump scare there was a noise. It, it was very rarely there wasn't and that was kind of like taking me away from it because like I, I hate when they do that in movies because it just takes you away from the experience. Like, I was so invested and then they just have to go, dun, dun, dun. And it's just, it's unnecessary, I think. You know, it, it adds a bit of, like, style stylization to it. But at the same time, it kind of does take you away from it because I would much prefer to just sit there and watch a jump scare where without, like, going, mm, every time. And the, speaking of the jump scares, though, every jump scare in the film is really well done, though, I must say. Besides from the noise, they did all catch me a bit off guard. Um, they caught my sister off guard, especially. Like, There's a load of jump scares at the beginning. There's very few at the end. At the end, it's mainly focused on the story building and like ending it off on a way where you can feel happy that it ended. Or, I guess, feel sad that it ended, e either way. Um... I feel this is one of those conclusions to a movie where it doesn't really have good winning, but at the same time, it doesn't have bad winning either, you know? It finds a middle ground there, and speaking of middle grounds, it also finds a middle ground in between, like, humour and horror, which I felt was really well done. Like, it has Nick Cage giving his, like, co comedic kind of co performance, but at the same time, what he's doing and how, like, a lot of the characters react to what he's doing it makes you really scared at the same time. Like, I can understand where people were coming from where they said they're still scared after watching this film. Because, yeah, it makes sense. This film is very horrifying. It's got a lot of really, like, disturbing aspects to it. And, I mean, it's got a twist which I'm not sure a lot of people will see coming. Because that twist definitely caught me off guard. I, I was able to figure out half of it, but then... The other half just came out of absolutely, like, not out, out of absolutely nowhere, but for me it came out of nowhere. Um, and it's still a positive for me because it is a good twist and it works in the storyline of the movie. And overall, I think this movie is one that a lot of people are going to love. And I think few will probably dislike it for, you know, the same reasons that they dislike a lot of other movies. Oh, it's a, it's over like an hour and a half, whoop de doo I mean... I came out of it loving it. I think it's one of like, the best movies of this year, if not the best movie of the year so far. Because um, we haven't really... This is a kind of a dry year for horror at the moment. And I think that it, it's picking up right now. Because this is probably one of the best horror films I've seen in a very long time. And yeah, that's pretty much Long Legs. It's a really good movie with really good kills, really good scares... And a really good storyline. I give it like an 8.5 out of 10. 
I don't want to say it's exactly perfect, but it is very, very close. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think about Long Legs? Let me know in the comments below. If you have seen the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, go watch it. it, it in the UK, it's in cinemas for a limited time. I'm not sure about America. But if you're in the UK, please go watch it now as it is here for like three days in my cinema. So that's not the best. But yeah, until next time, thank you for watching this video. Um, go watch Long Legs. Bye-bye.